All right, chapter 11. We're getting towards the end of the of the story now. We only have two chapters left and barely any romance has happened. Narrator mode, go. The sun shines so bright in the sky. The Powerpuff Girls are flying overhead. The city is on fire. <laughs> Wait, can I even call it the sun? I don't think it's the sun, just a sun. In front of me are the three siblings and... Eeyak! <laughs> Greetings, princess. It feels like it's been ages since I last yeah, saw him. Yeah, it's been too long, my baby boys! <laughs> no, we, we just saw him get his ass kicked. <laughs> you know, too long. <laughs> I need to see him every day! Mm. Oh, oh god, they're all again! <laughs> I didn't expect this many people to join, says Caleb, looking a bit troubled. Uh -huh. If he doesn't put his titties away. <laughs> How dare you leave the palace without taking me with you? You know I get bored out of my skull in this place. That's because you're not allowed to go out either. The both of you, shut your mouth holes. He really likes saying mouth holes. You know he's gonna say mouth holes for another context, too. <laughs> yeah, Jameis has holes Why don't on the you brain. put that mouth hole to use Ugh, in the that's best so way. unsexy. <laughs> it don't need the descriptor. What, my mussy? <laughs> <laughs> don't you pick that tone with me. <laughs> you rarely take me out anymore, Jameis. Where has that sweet boy gone? I awkwardly stand in the middle of all this. It seems Caleb got permission to take me out, but Jameis is coming with us to supervise, and somehow Lena tagged along. She's bored. Eok, are you coming with us as a guard? That'd be so. What the fuck? <laughs> Eok, <laughs> they speak weird. <laughs> Lena waves her hand in the air. I always need a guard around me if I go anywhere. Oh, she diva. For real. We can't have you running off on your own. <laughs> You're a woman. <laughs> Caleb. Um... Okay. <laughs> Are you insinuating I don't have the mind to follow some simple rules? Uh-oh. That's exactly what I'm- ENOUGH! <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, Lena. It is no time to squabble. Okay, Caleb, hold up. <laughs> you about to defend your woman? You- That is my woman? <laughs> that is my queen? <laughs> that is my lover? <laughs> you will not be so mean to her, okay? <laughs> She's doing her dang best. <laughs> you will shut your mouth shut. We are taking the princess out and returning before sunset. That is all. Says Caleb as if he's on a mission. Caleb, chill. You don't have to impress daddy that hard. What happens if we don't make it back before sunset? <clears throat> Heads will roll. Uh-oh. Daddy gonna be angry. <laughs> Daddy's angry. <laughs> Daddy's mad. Daddy is fuming. I clamp my mouth shut getting the message. Stay close and move out. And you, don't leave my sight. As controlling as you are, that would be impossible. For real. Ooh, a new or location. Stupid market. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Culturally insensitive. Okay, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not making fun of actual markets that look like this. I looked at that green awning, and that one specifically just made me go no. While the palace has been nothing but breathtaking at times, being down in the streets gives me a much better sense of their culture. There's colorful stalls everywhere. Coyote are walking about, holding large baskets of woven straw, some of them carrying metal pots and pans. Everyone is constantly on the move. This should not have been its own sentence. Some of the architecture reminds me of Earth, but then it is distinctly different as well. The streets are crowded, and the four of us stand out like a sore thumb. It's clear to me that the Coyote live and breathe on this planet like it's their home. Uh, it, is it is their home. <laughs> the siblings are a completely different race. I wonder if they have their own city someplace it's else. the palace. I haven't been out to the market in ages. Lena coos as she examines <laughs> one of the stalls filled with trinkets. Let's keep it that way. You know you're under surveillance. Why is Lena under surveillance? My curiosity has been burning ever since I met Lena and came to find out what the jewelry on her arm meant. Don't speak. Fuck off. Don't tease the poor princess. She's merely curious. Lena has the tendency to run away. It's cause- Can't imagine why she would want to run away. <laughs> well, that's just a blatant lie. The three of them continue to ignore my actual question and argue among themselves. Eok seems to be tuning out the conversation. Even he can't bear it that much longer. I am over here, doing Eok things. <laughs> Princess, stick close with us. The streets aren't entirely safe. All of these... 
Coyote. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, he's racist. Ah! <laughs> but everything looks so inviting. It's lifting up my spirits to be outside the palace for once. Yes. Lately, there have been cases of rebels attacking the city folk. Rebels? I had no idea. Everything seems so peaceful. Oh, you naive thing. Don't you worry about a thing. We've got two well-trained captains and a soldier to protect us. A little bomb here or there won't hurt us. It'll hurt me, bitch. <laughs> brought us a whole bomb. I have skin. <laughs> Eoc, protect. Suddenly I'm on alert. Bombs? Okay, the streets don't look so inviting anymore. I end up gravitating towards Eoc as a personal shield. Coyote TSA coming soon. <laughs> oh no! I didn't realize the city had rebels. I figured this was a strictly run planet under Veritas's rule. A Dion. You put that yawn away. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's got some opposition as well. Yeah, I would hope so. Pests. Nothing more. They are merely an annoyance. Everything is an annoyance to you. Are they dangerous or are they an annoyance? Which is it? I ask, noting the discrepancy between Caleb's earlier statement. Princess, relax. Breathe in the air. Enjoy the sights. With a gorgeous smile. You damn right that's a gorgeous <laughs> motherfucking smile. That's my fucking queen. Put a crown on her. Give her a fucking scepter. Lead her up the steps. We're gonna get married today. <laughs> Not on my watch. You are safe, princess. Shouldn't you be keeping me safe? <laughs> I am your oldest sister. Old oldest? As there's if there's more? <laughs> <laughs> You're also my only sister. I'm gonna fucking so myself. she was being dramatic. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for more women. Even more reason to treat me better. I tune out their banter when a shimmer catches my eye. A piece of fabric glistening in the sun. It's such a gorgeous orange color, decorated with the most detailed lace I've ever seen before. My feet can't stop themselves as I'm attracted to the stall with the rolls of fabric lying about. I've never seen these patterns at home before. They take my breath away. The craftsmanship really shines through. They must have spent hundreds of hours to finish this handwoven piece of fabric. I'm in awe. I end up taking out my phone and quickly snapping a few pictures of the market. Only 1% remaining. It's on its last leg. No, it's not. It's 89%. Um, <laughs> that's behind our head. But... Discrepancy detected. Then I'm back to gushing about the fabric. My mind goes into overdrive. What kind of material is it made out of? What does the texture feel like against my skin? Is it heavy, airy? Does it change color in a certain light? <gasps> so many questions. I have to know. See anything you like. Two pieces of ugot por crong. I can't decide what voice I want to give this guy. Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> I'll see. It'll, it'll evolve as well. No, word. if it if it's a if it's a man, you have to keep that voice. Come okay, in. alright. I wanna ask what an Ugalt and Crown are, but I'm rudely shoved aside. Didn't I tell you not to leave my sight? A voice hisses in my ear, clearly belonging to Jameis. Get in my ear Can one more time yeah. and I'm gonna lick your face. I swear to god, I'm gonna turn around. You know, don't fucking do that. <laughs> Take my earth germs. I'm gonna fucking bite your nose. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Feral. Like, get out of my ear. Yes, yeah. I'm still in your sight, ho, you saw. I'm still in your sight, am I not? I didn't go that far. I can still spy the others right behind us. Don't get pedantic with me. You are not allowed to leave my side. Oh, well, then hold really? my hand, big strong yeah. man. <laughs> Possessive, I drawl out, not caring. I just want to get my yes. hands on that gorgeous fabric. Queen shit, shut his ass down. This has nothing to do with being possessive. I need you to stay close before I'm forced to put you in chains. Oh, do it, daddy. No. Fucking do it. <laughs> in fact, that is sounding like the better option here. Keep doing, keep pulling shit like that and I'm gonna start calling you master. Don't even test me. <laughs> I will kink shame you. And then I'll kink blame you. I'll kink gaslight you. But I won't kink gatekeep. You're welcome to try. <laughs> Master Sir Daddy. <laughs> and there's also Chief Captain and Prince in there. Can they yes, Master Chief can... Captain Prince Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That's his title. No thanks. Uh, yes, please. Oh. A hurried coyote pushes past me, bumping me into James. His thick oh. man titties <laughs> burst All against my, my face. neck. Earthlings have feeble feet. Well, uh, don't start talking about feet. I mean, no, look. <laughs> hey, I got pushed by someone. But then with our close proximity to each other, Jameis leans in even more and takes away. Hey! 
Hey! Yo! Hey! Yo, what yo, you hold think? up! Hold up! I'm getting the ick. <laughs> no, don't tell me. I cleaned myself before coming here. There's no way he notices it. That's right, she's on her period! Yes, I, I forgot! forgot. I totally oh forgot. no! He's like, why you smell like blood? <laughs> I smell blood, princess. His voice is so close to my ear, like a low whisper. Oh, sorry. No, I no. smell blood, princess. <sighs> what are you hiding? <laughs> I'm hiding. Why do these people have such an amazing sense of smell? This is ridiculous. Let me hear it in <laughs> peace. It's none of your business. James clearly doesn't like my answer and forcefully grabs my wrist, keeping me close. Stop doing that. Stop grabbing people. What are you, a toddler? <laughs> Speak. Why do you smell of blood? His voice raises and his tone is sharp. Embarrassed by his loud voice, I avert my eyes. Everyone around us are starting to stare. Do I really have to explain myself? It's nothing. It's a normal human thing. Jameis <laughs> slowly releases my wrist, but he doesn't look all that convinced. Do a human thing? I'll explain later. <laughs> my face colors slightly. Yes, a female thing. It's nothing. I'm okay. Please stop bringing it up. You are hiding something. <laughs> I can't believe it's this. embarrassing! I can't believe this through line is so long. God. Yes, my really disgusting bloodstained panties. Just please, let me buy some fabric so I can deal with my issue. Jameis's brown eyes dart over towards the stall with the rolls of fabric. You wish to purchase fabric. For why? If I'm allowed to. Caleb says I could. That's Captain Caleb. It's hard to keep remembering that I have to address, address people by their title. I'm sorry, but sometimes the accident <laughs> slips out. You know, I can't really help it. Right, my mistake. Captain Caleb said he'd buy garments for me as an apology for yesterday's actions. I recall not a hair on your body had been harmed yesterday. I, on the other hand, <laughs> I made sure of that. Thank you for doing this incredibly kind act and then holding it over my head like a <laughs> fucking abusive pr- <laughs> That's right. Jameis took that spear for me. It would have sliced right through me otherwise. I guess I ought to thank him for that. <laughs> but my pride and stubbornness are not so easily overcome, especially when he's being a dickbag. For real. In my mind, everything is his fault in the first place. It's Fact. like, okay, fine, I'll say thank you, drop your pants. <gasps> <gasps> However, my conscience is nagging at me. He did save my life. You did a you good You did a job. good job, good boy. No, I feel like we should be kind. Yeah. Thank you for blocking that spear. Come again? Do I hear a sense of gratitude uttered from your lips? Okay, that's hot. I, I was gonna say, I was gonna, He's I was teasing, I like that. I was that. tucking my hair, you think, yeah, that's hot. You're over here like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bite on my lower lip, immediately regretting it after seeing his smug reaction. <sighs> <laughs> nothing, I said nothing. Mm -hmm. Jameis remains silent, seemingly satisfied that I've thanked him. Oh, he won't be satisfied. <laughs> There's a perpetual smirk on his face. Alright, I can't stand it. I need to distract myself. Anyways, I'd like to go look at some of the fabric. Not only do I want to make some underwear for my period, but I would also love to have the fabric in the first place. I want to study their techniques. It is an alien planet, after all. Jameis lazily flicks his hand, throwing me a small pouch which I catch. Inside are a few brightly colored gems. It's not about me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. You're allowed no more than five oolot. That's Captain Caleb's budget for you. Oh, is it? Caleb! <laughs> Excited, I finally start inspecting the stall for real this time. I have no clue how much an Ugalt is worth, but if I can get my hands on something, I'll be happy. If Jameis wants to be next to us so badly, why doesn't he stand by and make sure that the merchants aren't ripping us off? They're like, Oh, clearly, you are a foreigner. There'll be 300,000 Ugalt for <laughs> yeah, this really. donut. The sparkling rolls of cloth I'll buy for my attention. For the briefest moment, I forget my situation my surroundings. Instead, I'm focused on all the options in front of me, the countless ways I could use them. Kidnapped. Designs start spinning through my mind, outfits supers could wear, perhaps some casual attire. Earthlings must be obsessed with shiny materials, Jameis mentions when he sees me reaching for a sparkling roll. I won't deny that seeing something shiny is appealing. Of course. You have feeble minds. Simpletons. You just can't enjoy anything. I'm not stupid, you just suck. <laughs> You're bland. Hey, there's no reason to insult me. I'm not insulting you. I'm discussing the earthling race. By being insulting, you're being offensive. That That's offensive, what you just said. You just called my entire race stupid. 
that's the same thing. And there's no earthling race. We're humans. People. I don't call you an alien either. Yes, I recall many other words being uttered from your... hole. Stop Some saying hole! <laughs> I'm... Just say mouth! I can't help it. Every time I look at it, I think of more than just speaking. Stop. A hole is all I see. <laughs> and he deserved every single one of them. I'll call you a poopy head. <laughs> Humans, you say. Jameis gazes down at the fabric on the stall, though he doesn't seem to care for them much. Do they all excrete? <laughs> How did he know it was coming from there? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Do they all excrete blood from their n- <laughs> nether regions? Oh my god. Thinking about your nether regions. <laughs> Been thinking about those a lot, actually. Does, now I have an excuse to say it out loud. Is, is it gonna stop? <laughs> <laughs> I feel the tips of my ears turn red. He can smell my period and where it's coming from. This is almost invasive. Hey, he's thinking about my coochie. Like, can't I have some privacy? I just want to make period panties and then cry in bed. <laughs> That's a fucking mood. With as much grace and dignity that I have, I shake my head. No, just the ones with a uterus. <laughs> Your beet red and the coyote are like, oh, she's turning our color. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> one of us. One, one of us. The ox like... Princess! <laughs> yes, let's get married. You Eoch. are finally pretty. <laughs> Eoch! This is when you find out he thought you were hideous the whole time. Well, you... You have a stubby arm! You're so super nice. <laughs> that would break your heart. That would ruin me. I'd, I'd just look at him like, You thought I was ugly? Your race seems defective. Yo dick is defective. Go away! <laughs> Leave me alone! He's not exactly wrong, though. No. Not everyone can heal up holes like you can. In fact, do you even have a bruise where the spear impaled you? I can't tell at all. I stare at his shoulder, but he's been moving it like normal. You gonna take off that top, sir? Curious, aren't you? <laughs> you well, undressing me with your mind or something? <laughs> I don't want to admit I am, but I totally, totally am. am. Oh, there we go! Jameis slides his shoulder out of his robe, giving me a peek of his injury. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nice nips, dude. Except I see nothing at all. His skin is as smooth as butter. No discoloration to be seen either. Does it taste like butter? It doesn't feel like butter. What? There's nothing. Not a trace. What? Huh? But you have scars. How come your wound vanished completely but still have so many scars left on your body? <laughs> Jameis puts the robe back on. Don't. Don't, don't, don't talk about it. Oh, it's so hot here. Keep it off. Rehu's accelerated healing doesn't start until they're older. Oh, so so those are those are like Daddy, Daddy, I drew you a picture injuries. Gotcha. You mean to say you got these when you were young? Uh yep. Yeah. How <clears throat> young? Enough questions. Stop asking about me. Pick your garment so we can move on. He's got demons. Oh, you need therapy. <laughs> I can't help but think about it. The scars on his back, the one on his chest and arm. He sustained these when he was younger. Possibly a child. Most likely a child. Caleb's got a scar over his eye that turned him blind. Was he a child too? Probably. Pick one. <laughs> all right, all right. Damn. I select two fine pieces of cloth. A teal and orange one. They're a both teal and so orange. gorgeous. You put that shit together and be like... <sighs> With Jameis's help, I pay the vendor their fee. Okay, good. At least he's being some semblance of helpful. Turns out, five pieces of Ugalt gives me a lot of length in return. I even have gems left over. There's so much fabric I'm handed a basket to carry it all in. Finally, now we can head back to the palace with the others. Just one stop? For real! The both of us look back to where we left the rest, but spot no one there. Jameis remains well, uncharacteristically quiet as he scans the crowd for any signs of them. Actually, I did find it a little strange that no one came to join us, but I guess I was too engrossed with the fabric to really pay attention to them. I think we've been separated. I look over the crowd as well, but honestly, I can't find them either. My eyesight is much better than Jameis, I believe, but I don't spy them anywhere. It's like they simply left us. <laughs> Elena was like, hey, Caleb, look at them. Let's go. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they go? Jameis mumbles something under his breath and starts taking some strides towards the middle of the street. Hey, don't leave me behind, I cry out, suddenly worried about being left alone. Jameis stands still and takes out a device from his pouch. 
I catch he's gonna track Lena. Yeah. I catch up to him and look at the circular device. It's the one that had the map of the palace with the colored dots. Dude, I'd just be like, alright, if you're leaving me, I'll go and check out the other stalls. <laughs> God. I would fuck not. It. He's got I'm, GPS. I'm not gonna fuck around in a place like Dude, this. Dude, I would. Sorry. If I die, I, I die. Don't, I don't want to find out. <laughs> Except this time, the map has changed. It seems to be a plan of the streets we're in, like it's a GPS. There's a single dot on the screen. Jameis's eyes make contact with mine. That's my dot. It's pointing at me, and only me. Oh, putrid mother's nutsack. <laughs> what? Your women have nuts? <laughs> what? Language, Jameis! Why? I'm- I'm learning. Oh, God. What, what the, the fuck? <laughs> There's no time for explanations as James grabs what? my wrist and pulls me into the crowd. I hold on to my basket for dear life. What's wrong, I ask, though I think I know the answer. Lena took her She took thing it off. off. She was like, ah, fuck this. We've lost sight of the rest, but it seems Jameis can't track them either. Jameis doesn't answer me as he pulls me along the crowd. Along the crowd? <laughs> Not caring who he bumps into or if I stumble along the way. <laughs> Face plant. At, at this point, you'd think flying would be better. Dude, at that point, I just gave up and let him drag my ass. <laughs> hey, slow down! I call out to him as I nearly trip over my own feet. I would trip. However, Jameis pays no attention to my calls. He's hyper-focused on looking for our companions. <laughs> Jameis ends up bumping into someone with a huge cart. Fresh produce spills onto the ground and people stop to help. Oh my, my cabbages! cabbages! <laughs> my cabbages! <laughs> out of my way! Seeing as everyone is taking their time to forge a way out for us, Jameis ends up losing his patience. He pulls me into his chest and wraps his muscular arm around my waist. He's gonna fly. Oh, my, we, no! My fabric! Hey, we about to fly. You about to lose your fabric. I'm about to lose my mind. I shriek loudly when he launches us into the air. We in the sky. I cling on to him, afraid I'll fall. The wind rushes past us, and it's diff it's making it difficult to keep my fabric from flying out of the basket. Use your string! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Jameis hangs in the air, stopping to look down at the city below us. I'm getting super mad vibes. Oh boy, we're really high up. This is triggering a sense of fear for heights that I never knew I had. I look away from the city, my cheek pressed against Jameis's bare chest. Oh... Oh, his heart. that's his heart. <laughs> my ears catch that heartbeat rhythm again. It's much louder now that I'm pushed up against him like this. That means it wasn't just my imagination last time. His heartbeat really does sound like this. It's an almost soothing rhythm, distracting me from the fact we're up in the air. When Jameis growls in frustration, the trance is broken. Nice teeth. Ah, hot. I tilt my head to see him <laughs> look Bite over- me with them. God, yes, please. <laughs> I tilt my head to see him look over the city in agitation. It seems he can't find them, despite the high vantage point. What a weird. Gathering my courage, I gaze down into the streets of the city. I see it all. The coyote walking about, the fabric stall we were at before, even other landmarks I haven't been to yet. It shouldn't be too hard to spot them. Caleb and Lena definitely stand out from the rest. That is, if they're outside. I don't have x-ray eyes like a certain superhero does. I can't look through walls. <laughs> but then I see the shimmer of Lena's blue hair in an alley. I found her. An alley? Bitch, what the fuck are you doing in an alley? Giving some hit. Oh. I point at her location. There she is. There's Princess Lena. <laughs> oh, I like that face. Kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> Jameis follows my finger and narrows his eyes, straining to see her. For a second, it looks like he's going to call me a liar, but then Lena steps out, steps into our view and he immediately recognizes her. I see she's with Eok as well. What about but Caleb? Caleb is nowhere to be found. I hang on to his shoulders as he flies straight <laughs> towards her, not even wasting a second. When we get closer, I can tell they haven't spotted us yet. I don't see Caleb with them. Where is he? Shouldn't he be with them? They're both hidden away in an alley, talking amongst themselves. Sus. Jameis finally flies in close enough to park us on the ground again. Lena's eyes grow wide when she spots Jameis. Oh. He releases me and marches his way over to Lena. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Where is your tracker? Jameis! It, it was stolen! Lies. Lies! Lies. I love you, honey, but you lying! <laughs> stolen. Where is the captain? Thief took jewels. Captain Caleb, go catch thief. Not well if Eok says it. I believe Eok 100%. <laughs> I have full faith in my boy. And you. Why didn't you come find me? He now directs <laughs> his anger towards <laughs> Eok. Sir, I... I oh, to, no. to, to stay with... To make sure... She... <laughs> yeah. Eok protect Princess Lena. By taking her away from me? Calm down your temper, Jameis. We got separated at the market. Eok is keeping me safe. Why don't you make yourself useful and find that thief that stole my armlet? Hmm? Jameis takes out the tracker once more and looks at it. I can tell there's still only one dot on the screen. 
stolen or destroyed. Ooh. Because I cannot track you anymore. Oh, uh, wait, no. Oh, I guess maybe the thief broke it. Who knows? Anything could have happened. She's fucking sus, dude. she dude. slammed that shit on the ground and just went... <clears throat> the issue at hand is that this shouldn't happen in the first place. You are without a tracker. This is unacceptable. It's not like it's my fault, you know. Stay here. Eok, make sure the two of them don't wander off anywhere. I shall go find Captain Caleb. Jameis doesn't even wait for a response as he launches into the sky, dirt rising up from the ground <laughs> as he goes. I end up coughing and sneezing when the dust tickles my nose. Oh. <sighs> he sure found us fast. It wasn't the captain. Dude, he then looks over at me. <laughs> Yuck, don't, <laughs> Yuck, don't call me out like this. Princess has good eyes, yes? <laughs> Lena suddenly looks interested as she raises her head to finally acknowledge me as well. Is that so? I look down at the basket I'm holding on to. Uh, yes. I spotted you when Captain Jameis took off into the sky. <laughs> you sure are holding back all these fun little surprises. Peculiar, Earthling. Revealing everything I have up my sleeve isn't very smart when I'm in enemy territory. Enemy. Enemy. <laughs> <laughs> clever. Very clever. You are most certainly correct. <laughs> She's like stroking her hair and stuff. <laughs> There's a seductive smile on her face. She into one. Ah! <laughs> Everyone's got a thing or two they wish to keep secret from everyone else. She then taps her fingers on my basket. Like this. What are you holding there? Oh, this? It's fabric. I can't help but grin. Lena is clearly confused, uh, though. Fabric? You mean a dress, right? Something dazzling, I'm sure. I'ma make it. She's never seen raw fabric before. She's only ever seen it in dress form. That's about par for the course for a noble. Dude, you're gonna be like, I can make you a dress, and she's gonna be like, <laughs> an isolated noble. Oh yeah, she's gonna propose right then and there. Please try to steal this away from Janus. <laughs> no, it's just fabric. A skirt? Robe? Chemise? You could have gotten any number of extraordinary garments in this market, but you chose... She points her long finger at my basket. Fabric. Earthlings must like cloth. They must eat it, probably. <laughs> uh, no, it's just me. I like making clothes. In fact, I... Immediately, I shut up. I was about to run off my mouth and tell them I'm a fashion designer with her own boutique. That's definitely not what a princess should be doing. Side job, side hustle, it, it, for fun. Yeah. People on Earth can do that. <laughs> I should be more careful. Er, uh, in my spare time, I like tinkering with pieces of fabric. Lena strokes her hand across the blue fabric while th humming to herself. Tinkering, you say? You know, I'm quite curious about Earthling's fashion. Sometimes it gets too stuffy in the outfits they have over here. It'd be nice to see something new for once. I want her whole titties out. God. I want, I want that fucking, like, middle... <sighs> <laughs> Calm down, please. <sighs> Would you like me to create something for you? I ask. My designer sense is tingling. She's got the perfect body to make clothes for. That won't do. Don't you think you should be spending your little gift on yourself? It's all right. I've gotten way too much anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you think, Eok? Should the princess create earthling fashion for me? I don't have thoughts. <laughs> Eok yeah. looks confused and out of place. Uh, yes. <laughs> if no trouble. No. Oh. Eok, it's no trouble at all. Come here! Oh my god. No trouble at all. In fact, it would be a nice distraction from everything else. You know, there is the upcoming Maka next noon. Will Princess Lena participate? Participate? I'll lead it. I try and keep up with the conversation, but some words aren't being translated for me. I know Nanoon might be a passage of time. Jameis said we'd be returning to Earth in three Nanoons. Months. However long that is. What's Maka? It's proud celebration of Gaiote culture. Held in palace. Yes, and I would love to wear something special for the occasion. Something easy to move around in. Like a dancing outfit? Ugh. Before Lena can respond, the three of us are shook to our core as oh, a ear-deafening blast fills the sky. They's fighting. Uh-oh. I wonder if you found Caleb. Oh, God. <laughs> our surroundings quake and tremble. In the distance, smoke rises to the top. I can hear shouting and screaming. Unless it was a bomb. You mean to the sky? That's, that's kind of weird. Rises to the top. The top of what? The yeah, roof? Our, sur our surroundings. So I guess just over the buildings. I guess so, yeah. My heartbeat rises through the roof. It drums against my chest. Lena and Eok don't look too concerned, but I find myself clam up. 
Ashes fall from the sky and a scent of burning wood and flesh Ooh. mixes into the air. It's stirring up my memories. The smoke, the ash, the fire. Oh no. When mommy and daddy died. Oh right. God, that was so long. That was like the first chapter. I'm surprised you remember that because I, I remember. completely scrubbed that from my memory. Embers cascade downwards as the fire blazes strong. <gasps> no! Oh, Kane. Mom! Dad! Mom! Dad! They're all in there! Bingo holds me back. Drac! Kane! No! Please! I forgot Bingo's voice That's completely. Fine. Please, don't chase them into the fire! And Bingo begs us with tears running down his face. What are you talking about? They're in there! We have to go get them! Ah! Kane's entire body sparks with electricity. I fall to the ground wailing, hopelessly watching the fire burn. Damn. Then I'm brought back to reality with another loud blast from the distance. Princess, are you alright? No. God, no. Huh? I'm sweating profusely. My fight or flight senses are going into overdrive. I'm getting heart palpitations. You've been catatonic this entire time. It's hard to focus. The smell is overwhelming. I have to get out of here. Is the city under attack? I ask, scared and confused, gripping my basket tightly. Rebels. My senses are running ahead of me as I can't help but make an immediate parallel to who Leo back on Earth, the terrorist group. We, we have to get to safety if the city is under attack. Not a second later, Jameis makes a grand entrance, landing on the ground with a large boom. <laughs> God, his, his, his robe just being like... <sighs> dust kicks up everywhere. We leave. Now. Uh, yes, sir. Please, take us away. A moment later, Caleb joins us. He was right on James's tail. He steps over towards Lena and takes her hand. So she cannot fly. I guess not. Time to strategically retreat. He then flies off with her. If it's only the dudes that can fly, that's fucked. Jameis doesn't even wait until I'm prepared and takes me by my waist, launching off as well. He really likes my waist. Well, what about Eok? Oh, oh no! <laughs> We all arrive at the palace once more. My feet finally touch the ground, but I'm still holding on to Jameis. I'm shaking profusely. I didn't let him go. Soldiers are marching out of the main gate towards the streets, perhaps to quell the rebellion. Jameis pushes me away from him and walks towards Lena. I'm nauseous from the flying, but also completely anxious and terrified with what happened. Shaking like a chihuahua. We left Eok behind. Yeah, for real! You'll go to Healer Bilius this instant and get another tracker. Don't let Lord Veritas see you like this. Oh, your arm's naked. Ugh. Don't fret so much. I'm sure he's too busy being briefed about the explosion just now. Now, Lena. I'll take her. Let's go. Caleb takes her hand again and they fly off together. Well, hey! What about Eok? <laughs> we left him down there. Thank you for being concerned about Eok, baby. <laughs> I, I can't leave someone else behind again. I just can't. He could be in danger. We need to go back and get him. One grunt's life doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> Eok can take care of himself. He's a soldier. I hate you right now. <laughs> Eok is his responsibility if he loses another soldier. I guilt, mean, she, guilt him or be a piss baby. Guilt or plead. <laughs> I mean, she is very frazzled right now, so logically she'd probably be more pleading about it. But fierce is what I want to say because... I'm mad. Eok is your responsibility! Anger bubbles up inside of me. I can't let him leave Eok behind. Why do you care all of a sudden? Because Eok is baby girl. Because Eok saved me from certain death. He's been nothing but kind to me. Not to mention he protected your sister. And he's part of your platoon, your division or whatever. Should a captain not look out for his crew? I glare at him with all my might. He really is the scum of the universe if he doesn't go back to save him. Or are you going to let him perish just like you did with Gerode on the spaceship? A myriad of expressions crosses his face. Anger, annoyance, indignation. He's livid. But no words exit his mouth. He's quiet, seething on the inside. Please, surely you can go back to get him? Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> You're shaking. He states, noticing I've been trembling all this time. I don't do well with fire, and I certainly won't let anyone die in one. Please, you're his captain. If the weak can't save themselves and perish then so be it. I'm gonna perish your fucking balls. I'm you sorry. <laughs> Did you want this ass or what? For real, this ass wants you to save Eok. So if you want to hit this, <laughs> your sister can't fly. Should she perish too? A long stretch of silence. 
His eyes gaze upon me like I'm an in insignificant pest, a thorn in his side. But I know I'm right. Don't think I haven't noticed Lena's distinct lack of flying. What? Why is that in prose? Caleb had to carry her back. She could have been left down there just like Eok, but we didn't. Ooh, uh, that's, I was kind of a This mess. is a rough paragraph. He closes his eyes, biting down on his bottom lip as he clenches his hands into fists. For a moment, I think he might actually hit me <laughs> to teach me a lesson about I'm shutting sorry. up. I thought of the Arthur me. <laughs> then slowly but surely, blue markings weave oh. into his skin. They pop up like a glowing river. When he opens his eyes again, they're blue this time, shining, hypnotizing. Power simply radiates off his body in this state. He's phased. He doesn't say a word. His posture is so imposing, he's ready for battle. Yeah, you go. <laughs> for real. But then he blasts off into the sky, debris swirling around and kicking up a storm. He's like, fine. <laughs> when he's up high, he creates a sonic boom as he changes direction. It hasn't even been two seconds and he's already out of my sight. I have my eyes are watery. It's fine. My son. I'm left a little perplexed, but also slightly impressed. Your son is a fin boy. Yeah, so? I accept him. Okay. <laughs> Who are you to judge femboys? I was, I was just saying, God! Did I get through to him? Is he going to get Eok? You better. My eyes are on the lookout for a flying person in the sky. My heart is still drumming along with adrenaline. He comes back holding him bride style. Eok's just like, Princess! <laughs> <laughs> he has his little leg up. <laughs> Other soldiers around me ignore my entire existence until there's none left. They've all marched out of the gates. I'm unsure what's unfolding. I just hope Eok will be safe. That dreadful feeling of losing someone to an explosion. I don't ever want to feel it again. A loud noise and blast knock me off my feet and I stumble around trying to keep my balance. When the dust settles, I see Jameis flinging Eok onto the ground. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Eok's just, he just fucking smacks on the ground and flops around like a fish for a second. <laughs> It seems the princess deemed it necessary to confirm your safety and whereabouts. Yak's gonna be touched. Oh, princess, you care about Grunt like me? Yes, of course. I wanna I wanna take you into my bedchamber and His markings dim and his eye color returns as he phases back to normal. Not the eye color! <laughs> Put it back! <laughs> you worry far too much about weaklings. It's the order and nature of the universe. Only the strong will survive. Those that need handouts are going to die sooner or later. Eok groans as he tries to get up, but seems a little disoriented. I think he must have gotten nauseous from the flying, just like me. The amount of relief that washes over me is so great, I almost well up with tears. I feel like hugging him. But I don't- do it. I do it. <laughs> You're flabbergasted. Do it. Helping the weak isn't doing them any favors. Look at him, he's got a stumpy arm. It is, though, because they can always grow to be stronger. And, like, if they're dead, then they're useless. For real. I don't even care what Jameis is saying yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, shut <laughs> Eok, I exclaim and rush towards him. I'm so glad. I help him get up on his feet. He's a little out of it still. Eok, no assistance need. See, our soldiers are perfectly capable of looking after themselves. Princess worry too much about Eok. Eok only grunt, he says sheepishly. But he is smiling, though. I don't care. You're safe. That's good. I gratefully look over towards Jameis. I don't want to say it, especially not after his small villain monologue about only the strong surviving, but I have to let him know what he did was the right choice. Thank you for going back. Ignoring my thanks, Jameis huffs loudly. Shut up, Inuyasha. You fucking soon. <laughs> now that we've rescued this miserable runt, you should be heading back to your chambers. I've got so many questions, though. What's going on down in the city? I saw a bunch of soldiers deploy, so are we in some kind of civil war? Are we safe in the palace? But I've already pressed my luck with Jameis just now. I should take one victory at a time. At least Eok is accounted for. Eok, escort the princess back to her chambers. Yes, Captain. Yes, Eok, bring me back to my room. <laughs> Complying this time around, I grab my basket of fabric and follow Eok back inside of the palace. I'm gonna listen this time, but I'm so, like, scared because of the explosion, so can you, like... Like, come inside the room and, and stay with me until it's safe again, please. Oh man, I'm so bored suddenly. We should do something to occupy ourselves. What is wrong with you? A lot. <laughs> I'm down bad for that lizard man. Hopefully there will be no more explosions today. I hate being reminded of my parents' deaths. Yeah, you'll get over I it. I mean, doesn't everybody? <laughs> I um, love being reminded of my parents' deaths. They sucked. Oh, that's it. Oh, woo! Next episode, we're gonna take Eok back to our bedchambers 